This is the news in brief on Graphic Online. In the headlines, Bank of Ghana to introduce upgraded Ghana CD notes. Five persons confirmed dead after Sunday's downpour, and fire service trainees asked to go home until further notice. In our very first story, the Bank of Ghana is expected to issue upgraded and security-enhanced banknotes into circulation on Monday, May 6, 2019. The upgraded banknotes will have enhanced security features in line with evolving changes in the technological landscape. The upgraded banknotes will also come with improved durability and machine readability. Head of Communications at the Bank of Ghana, AC Hammond, explains the need for the upgrade. In line with best practice, what is done elsewhere, you find that at about seven years there about countries would change their bank notes. For example, if all their technological systems are changing, then it means that the way they print notes are even different, and so we cannot stay back. And we need to be able to get ahead and also in line with what has been happening. And we, we need to know that bank notes going through ATM, for example, can be detected if they are not good notes. For example, you want serial numbers to be read and read up appropriately or well, very well. So we need to have the notes that are consistent with these changes. Five persons have been confirmed dead in Accra following Sunday evening's downpour, according to the Greater Accra Regional Director of the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, Mr. Achibald Kobina, the fatalities occurred at Awudome and another at Aveno. He said another lady who was rushed to the hospital following an electrocution was confirmed dead on Monday morning. Sunday evening's rains left portions of the Kwame Nkrumah circle flooded and passengers were compelled to alight from their vehicles and walk through the water while other vehicles were forced to change their routes. The Member of Parliament for Ashaiman, Mr. Enes Nogbe, has sued government for sole sourcing the $12.5 million drone agreement with Fly Zipline Ghana Limited. In his writ, Mr. Nogbe argued that the medical supply contract did not satisfy laid-down procedures in the Public Procurement Act. He is therefore seeking a declaration that government erred in using single sourcing method of procurement in engaging Fly Zipline Ghana for the delivery of blood products. He also wants a declaration that the service agreement was illegal and therefore void and an order invalidating the service agreement. Meanwhile, Vice President Mahmoud Baumia says the use of the drones for the distribution of essential medicines will begin in the next two weeks. Some trainees of the Ghana National Fire Service have been asked to go home until further notice. The trainees made up of recruits and cadets were due to go through the final phase of their training after successfully completing a three-month internship at the various fire stations across the country. The directive, which was issued by the Chief Fire Officer, Edwin Eko Blankson, and addressed to all regional fire commanders and the commander of the Fire Academy and Fire Training School, asked that the recruits and trainees be released effective April 5, 2019. The letter did not give reasons for the directive except that appropriate steps are being taken to authenticate documents and other information submitted to the service by the trainees concerned. The letter added that only those who satisfy the requirements for employment into the Ghana National Fire Service shall be recalled to participate in the final phase of the training program. The 2019 West African Senior School Certificate Examination WASI, commenced at various centers across the country on Monday. Per the timetable, the first core paper, which is the English Language Paper 3 Orals exam, will, however, be written on April 23, 2019. The 2019 WASI will end on June 7 with the Elective Information and Communication Technology paper. And to some sports news, former Ghana international Manuel Junior Agogo has revealed that he can no longer write with his right hand after suffering a stroke over four years ago. The former Nottingham Forest and Zamalek striker in a video post on Instagram said he has difficulty moving and controlling his right hand. Were you right-handed before the stress? Yes. And how is your right hand now? Um, it's better, but it ain't like before. Can you write with it? No. For more news, log on to graphic.com.gh.